All right, here's the FG20 and my little tray tools I use to adjust the valves. So, got it packaged up ready for shipping. Found the other head too, let me go get it. Here's the other head. You can see broke off. Inside looks really good though. And uh, so that's going to be shipped along. But uh, here's the extra gaskets I had. This o ring goes around the intake. Uh, tube into the head and it's got a little metal washer that that holds it in place on the intake tube and these are the uh, cam cover gaskets so those will be shipped too alrighty spark plug I'm going to pull the spark plug out just to make it easier push this guy out of the way There's the copper gasket that goes on the spark plug. Alrighty. So here is the intake. I want to get a paper towel. Get another one. Tried to have everything here. Apparently, I didn't think all of it through, but some of it. At least I grab my tools, even though I need my my oil. Uh, I like to oil these up. Um, some Marvel Mystery oil. And I'll show you that too. Um, before I put the covers back on, I just like to put some fresh oil in there. Plus, it smells like mint. I like it. So, I have a cobalt that I bought at Lowe's. And Sato in the manual says to do these at zero gap. I just can't do that. So, I get my thinnest one, which is a 0 0.0015 inches or 0 0.038 millimeters. That's the one I like to use. Uh, when you get a Sato engine, they come with a limit gauge, and this is a point uh, one millimeters or something like that thick. Um, and say, so set that aside. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
you be able to, let's see here, be able to watch these move. So there goes the exhaust, there goes the intake. Alrighty. So now we're going to go 180 degrees. Now normally I'd have a mark or my prop or something. I'm just going to use my thumb. I'm going to go half and then one. Which should be close. Sometimes you can see. I also have this little guy, it's a little piece of plastic. You can stick him in the in this hole and you can see whenever it gets the longest. What this, this is the compression stroke is why I'm doing this. See, so still going up, still going up. Oh, so I went around with one too much. Alrighty. What am I doing wrong here? All right. So that's the exhaust stroke. Intake. It's down. This is the compression stroke. Right there it is. Okay. All right. Take that out. And. The Sato manual, you would just take this guy and just stick him in here like this, and he's not going. So by Sato's manual, that intake valve is still good. And you want to make sure that these guys are set into place. The push rods. So now we'll check the exhaust. The exhaust, according to Sato, is still still good. But what I like to do is use this 0 0.038 millimeters. See, it goes right in there. So this guy, he's exactly where I like him. A little bit of tug on them, but the exhaust one is a little much. It'll pass according to Sato. You can still keep running it, but I figure I'd adjust these guys. So, let's get this little wrench here. This little Sato wrench. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick him on there. Loosen it. And it's a small one, this guy. I'm going to set this guy down. See how it's bending it? You can really tell. Barely tugging on it. That's all it needs. They're the same, so that's the way I like to run my Sados. So there you have it. So now I can put the covers back. Well, let me go get my oil. I'll run because it's in the other room. Okay, made it back. So, more of a mystery oil here. Love this stuff, and uh, I have it in a little dropper. So, all I like to do is put a drop. Oops. 
there. And this guy could put a couple drops on this guy. Up here. And I'll do this guy. It's kind of hard to do on camera. And again on this guy. Okay. Alrighty. Got a little extra oil here that I didn't mean to get. I don't like having oil everywhere, just where I want it. And then just reverse of assembly here. You don't have to take the spark plug out every time you do this. Um, I did it just because I don't have a prop on it. makes turning the crankshaft that much easier. Yours is about a 90 degree turn, but it doesn't have to be just snug. These gaskets are new um, for the cam covers. I replaced them when I replaced the head. I replaced all of the, all the, basically from the, well, I replaced the head gasket, the valve cover gaskets. Um, the O-ring was in good shape for the intake, but I did replace the back cover gasket as well. So. Run these down in really easy. So they're like bottomed out, like it started to get snug. So when it started to get snug, I kind of you see that, that's really all that one needs. It doesn't have to be super tight because what ends up happening is you end up cutting that gasket and you have to get a new gasket. I mean, even still, when you do this, you know, 15 20 times. They uh, they do cut just because of it. So I'm gonna add a few more drops. I like to add some. Can't see in there. I don't think. Mm, it's not gonna. I can see it. I'm gonna put a few in there on that, and then I'm gonna put. Some in the spark plug hole. That's plenty. I'd pull that off just to make sure I had plenty of room to put that. Alrighty. Gasket back on. And again, it's a small gas engine that's made out of aluminum. It doesn't have to be Gorilla tight. Just snug. That's it. And you're done. Thanks for watching.